Okay, today is Friday already, and I have lots of things to share with you. I've already got a, a Christmas card already. Uh, that's a great idea to get a Christmas card of the way before you forget from Byron. Um, so that is very cool. Thank you for that. And if I do Christmas cards this year, I can't get everybody because I'm subscribed to a lot of people that haven't given me their addresses. And also, I may not have enough, I mean, I'll have enough probably Christmas cards per se, but I might just decide to send out Christmas uh, postcards um, and do some sort of Christmas themed things with those as well. That Because I have plenty of those, I don't want to have to go and procure some uh, Christmas cards. Although they're not expensive, it just, you know, and it saves a little bit on postage. And somebody has something a little bit different, you know, something they can display or whatever, maybe not just chuck into the trash. Um, so there's several things going on here. I got a video just finished editing called The Editing Process, How I Edit Graphics. And it was interesting, I watched somebody yesterday um, saying like, comment, subscribe. I know a lot of people are hating that, but the way this was done was actually, you know, pretty good. And it was interesting because a um, whole group of people are promoting everybody left and right, so it was like sub each other up type of thing. And it was really great, you know, so I, I don't mind the like, comment, subscribe, hit the smash the like button sort of thing. I know some of the older YouTubers like, get off my arm, <laughs> I can't handle that. Um, I was at Dollar Tree last night and picked up this kind of cool thing. Uh, you might remember back to one of my, um, I think it was my Italy purchase. Um, I got some of these Panini stickers from, um, I can't remember what, some sort of motorsports type set. And I got the Nissan, I'm sorry, the Mitsubishi, I always say Nissan, the Mitsubishi, Mit, ha, uh, this uh, Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution. Uh, very, si oops, sorry, very similar, but it was the right color, it was red. So I had to grab that one. It doesn't look like the greatest, you know, casting there, but eh, whatever. It was just a Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution. I thought that was kind of neat. I don't know what version the other one was from like 85 or 86. I don't know what year this one is, but anyway, it's it was uh, the same. It's uh, weird. So very cool, interesting. Grab that one there. Um, just basically went there for a snack, which I kind of, uh, uh, anyway, so... Um, the main part of the video here is um, COMC came in, so that is great. I know I had some other stuff to share, but I totally forgot. Oh yeah, I'm trying to watch uh, Sherlock here. I'm not sure that I've seen it. I, don't, I just don't remember watching it. Um, so uh, that's pretty good. It's got Benedict Cumberbatch and uh, the guy who played, oh, I don't know, Bilbo in uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, Martin, somebody or other. Uh, but we'll open this up here. This is just a small order. I'm not exactly sure what is in here. Um, so we, we shall see what we have here. Some of this is autograph um, purposes, TTM uh, uh, cards. Um, let's, let's open the one of one here, or the one of two, sorry. Uh, they pack these like crazy, so you just never know. I couldn't remember what I had on my list of, of send outs and what was keep. Um, so, I don't know. All these, again, these top loaders are just absolutely driving me batty here because I throw things in binder pages for the most part. And of course, I'm out of binder pages yet again. Um, but we have here, I had to grab this one because if Four Leaf watches this video here, I found a Budweiser advertisement in the Jacksonville Ab Expos of Jim Sashini. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if he's related to the, any, any other Sashinis. Was it Garen, Gavin Sashini? I'm not sure, but there's Jim Sashini, and then right there is Budweiser, King of Beers, or whatever it is. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but there's a Budweiser advertisement, and it's not like a Marlboro, Randy Johnson, or anything. I don't know. Very cool. I don't know what that one says there. This is from 1988, I believe, or 87. Oh, no, it's 80, it says 86 official minor league photo fact card. Uh, I want to say this was between 45 cents and a dollar. I really don't remember that one there. All right, just had to pause this camera for a second here. Now let's get into the next card here. Let's make sure I get to, all right. This one is in another top loader as well. This is old. This is, if I can get it out of here and show it to you here. This might be my first one from this set here. I want to say this is 1977. So no, 1978 TCMA. This is Doug Britt. I believe it's Doug, Douglas R. Britt. Left-handed end pitcher, you can see the card has a little bit of toning to it. A bunch of the cards I got were in really good condition, unfortunately. Um, this is kind of yellowed a little bit. So I'm not exactly sure where they had been all this time here. That is not for TTM. I think the first two, <gasps> excuse me, were not. Now we got a bunch of other cards here. Uh, we have uh, Durham Bulls, Mike Knox. 
I don't remember if he signs or not, but I just figured to get a Bull Durham card there from the time period. Uh, Ed Plank, I believe that's one I'm going to send off here, I think. I have um, started that set. I hope it's not a duplicate there. Double check there. I have an ancient, ancient card here. A Felix Potten card. And this one is Pileron. Pileron. Not really sure, but in very good condition there. That just as happens to be one that I picked up here this time. So there's that one there. And we have a Rich Childs. Again, I don't remember which ones are TTM or not. This is an old T 79 TCMA Rich Childs. Then we have Chris Yoder. I don't think Chris Yoder signs, but I just grabbed a couple Chris Yoders there, so 79. This is a really old one. This is a 76 TCMA. It's got Valley Farms on the back of it there. A little, again, a little toned there, but... Um, and then we have a Chris Yoder there, so that's good. And then... This one here is an interesting card here. This is 1983 Super Exito, Exito. Um, this is China Crisis. So that's kind of neat. It's a, kind of a new wave era band there, I guess. Um, pop duo China Crisis. Very neat there. Um, and there is the back of it there. A Super Exito or Exito, Exito. Don't really know there. Card number one or card number 172. So there's some unusual stuff here. Here's Verdi. Here's a Verdi. Um, this is what a night. It's they list it as 1908 uh, collection Felix Potan cards. So there's that one there. Then we have uh, Mon Senior uh, De Rendi. I got their blank back, so that's why I don't show you anything on the back of that. So there's that one there. Um, this is a bizarre shiny card here. Let's get it out of its foil here. This is Pro Wrestling Superstars Dynamite Dynamite uh, Kansai. So Dynamite Kansai. Um, it's a BBM, I think. Uh, BBM wrestling card. There's Dynamite Kansai. It was one of the cheapest ones. It was like on sale for like 35 cents or something like that. Ridiculous. So now let's get into packet number two. I don't know why they did it in two separate packets instead of one, but um, maybe that just so the package lays flatter a little bit. I don't know. I get this one open here. There wasn't a ton of cards in that first one there, but um, uh, get this out of here. Oh, okay. Now again, I'm. I think I have a couple from this set here that are signed. Here is Skip James. That may be a TTM card there. This is from the Phoenix Giants. I was at one time trying to collect every one of those um, because I knew there weren't a ton of sets there. But every time um, I would do some more searching, I'd find another set that was unknown to me. Um, this one here has got a couple on here. This is Barry Lursh, Oklahoma City 89ers. I just thought that was really neat. I'm not sure if he's still alive or not, but that look at that huge 89ers logo on there. And again, this is a pretty good condition here. This one's from 19... Oh, it's either 75 or 76. Super ancient. So this one says 1975. 1975 Oklahoma City 89ers. Very neat there. And then we had another one here. Another packet here. Um, oh yeah, the Kramer cards. These are the, the Coca-Cola ones are Kramer. And they're from 1979 or something like that. I couldn't remember the date on there, but somewhere in the late 70s, I want to say. Now we got... Uh, Pepe Manguel, I, I think he might sign, but I'm not sure. There's Pepe Manguel, um, but one of the reasons why I grabbed that is because that, I believe, is from the, this is the Spokane Indians, but it's very similar looking to the Spoke or for the Salem Angels. Um, I want to say this might be backwards here. I think they have his picture backwards because um, um, California, well, maybe it's not backwards, but it just... Just the letter looking... No, it's not backwards, sorry. It just looked backwards to me. Um, the backs are not very interesting in some of these. This is from 1982. But some of the backs are so similar here that they look, you know, older than that one. Here's another 1908 card. Gustave Charpentier, or something like that. So there's that one there. Really good condition. Uh, Gallopo, Gallopo. I don't know who that is, but I just picked out some cheap ones here. Joe Cowley, I think that's a TTM. Hopefully I didn't get him sent out before. Um, that's a 77. Uh, Joe Cowley, that's cool. Then we have General D. Gallifet. Gallifet, Gallifet. Um, this is... This is, a, yeah, this is another one of those cards there. So there is a really, it looks some sort of French 
general looking dude there, so really cool. Then we have Johnson. I just like the, the I just thought the image was kind of fun. This is the Miners Asheville Tourists, 1978, and this is Bobby Johnson. I don't believe that I could find his address there, but I just thought it kind of a kind of a cool uh, straight-on shot there. You don't see that very often. Then we have this one here. Now this is Matthew Matthew Laborto um, uh, from uh, Whiz Kids. I think it was a TV show back in the 19 early 1980s. Matthew Laborto was like one of the um, uh, guys that was later introduced into Little House on the Prairie. I can't figure. I think he was Albert on the Little House on the Prairie. But that's a super Exito Exito card there. It was not more than a dollar. I think it was probably 75 cents for that one. I had to have that one there. I tried to write him many, many years ago, but I never got hurt. I don't know what happened there. This one here is Henry Rochefort. Um, so there's that one. That's kind of neat. Another one of those 1908 cards. This one here is BBM Pro Wrestling 1996. Uh, Kenchi Yamamoto. So there is Kenchi Yamamoto. He's w wearing some sort of... Chinese, or he's wearing some sort of Challenge Fireworks um, Jack. That's what it says, Challenge Fireworks Jack. Um, and then it's got some other stuff, August, uh, I don't know, whatever, 1996, Pro Wrestling, so interesting there. Hopefully you can see that card there. And we have a 1973 Brock Davis, and I don't remember why I got that. I just, maybe it was because it was cheap, maybe he signs autographs, I don't know. Uh, maybe I didn't have that one. Carl Pagel. Pagel, Pag Pagel. Um, this is a 1980. Uh, sorry, 1981 TCMA on the back here, and we have again. This is a small order here. And the last one we have here is another nice catcher picture here. Um, this one is from the Salem Angels, and this is Jeff Gray. Again, I don't remember um, him signing, but that is from where I'm at here. That's the old Salem Angels. So that's very, very cool. And you can see Salem Angels, hopefully there. Salem Angels. There was like some sort of Angels team store or something like that. I don't, or card shop slash team store when I was here. I passed by it, went to it, or th near it, but I don't think I was... I'm not sure I ever went to it when it was open, but I was I was in that vicinity. I was not old enough to drive, so um, that's maybe why I didn't go in there. But there was some sort of angel store. I don't remember what the whole deal was with that. So anyway, it was kind of a disjointed uh, COMC, but very, very, very unusual. I picked up a lot of stuff that was massively on sale. That's essentially what happened with this particular COMC. Because I noticed stuff went back on sale or somebody, a sale was happening. So that's why I got all that stuff. So let me know what your favorite card was and thank you for watching.